What is your role in the play? Uh, well, I'm the sheriff of Nottingham, or as my grandma likes to call him, Rottingham, and basically the main bad guy. I'm the Bishop of Hereford, sort of like the side bad guy to the sheriff. So he's His like partner cry. It's kind mm -hmm. of. I'm more like the annoying he's, sidekick that follows him around. It's it's like I don't know. You I just get annoyed at you the whole time, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> How long does it take you guys to memorize your lines? Um, like it's probably since we started. Yeah, rehearsals. we we get the gist of it. The um, basic idea of our lines probably pretty soon in, but like perfect exact memori memorization that takes a long time. Yeah. On the it would take less time if I actually reviewed mine more when I was at home. But. <laughs> well, Robin Hood's based on a true story or what is thought to be a true story. So did you guys do any research into that, or did you just kind of stick with the script? Um, Triup actually didn't do any research as a group, but I personally looked into it a little more and it's actually really interesting. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know anything. <laughs> so, do you guys feel prepared for Friday night? Um, for the most part, really. Definitely a little nerve-wracking, but I think it'll it's turn always, out good. It's always nerve-wracking. Just a couple more questions, guys. Do you ever get worried about the other people in the play, if they're gonna mess up? I, I not so much because I feel like they're responsible for their lines. Uh, I don't know. I think um, unless it's like someone in your scene and they mess right. up a cue. If somebody messes up their line, we can all um, contribute to make sure that they that the scene, you know, makes it comes to where it's supposed to be. And do you, you guys yourselves, get nervous when you get up there? Um. Honestly, it's not that bad because you can't see the audience past the stage lights. Like backstage, I definitely get really nervous just yeah. thinking that there's a lot of people out there. But once you get up on stage and you're in character, you know, there's the fourth wall there. It's like, it's kind of like your subconscious takes over and you just yep. been, do what you've been doing and what you're used to. So it's not like there's an actual... Well, I would say it's easier than giving a class presentation. Yeah, just because you don't have the actual, like, looking into your eyes type yeah, of thing. Yeah, right. And you can always depend on your scene partner to kind of get you through it. Yeah. Well, guys, that's why. Thank you. Thanks. Friday night. I hope that it goes well. I feel, like, bad for Dom because he's got so many monologues and stuff. Those must be hard. What is your role in the play? You can just go down the line. Um, I'm Will Gamwell, but I changed my name to Will Scarlet. And early in the play, I'm Robin Hood's best friend. And I am Robin Hood of Loxley. I'm Marion Harper, Robin's love interest. All right, guys, so obviously these are, this is loosely based on, like, a true story, isn't it? So did you guys do any research? Not really. <laughs> I watched the movies. I did watch the Disney movie of the, you know, the fox and right. all that. Right, yep. Did you, Wes? I didn't. I haven't. The only one I've seen is the Robin Hood Men in Tights. Mm -hmm. I just kind of... So you stuck to the script? Yeah. And speaking of the script, how long did it take you guys to memorize your lines? I don't know. I, I think until like the week before the play, everyone's still kind of figuring them out. I mean, that's, you, you're usually supposed to have them done like, you know, a month before, but that's just usually how it goes. With high school plays? No, I wouldn't say with, you know, high school plays. Just There's so much going on because not only do you have to work on lines, but you have to work on the set and costumes and just... A lot to worry do. about. Yeah. And you memorize them in sections. Like yeah. you don't memorize it all straight through. You, mm -hmm. like, you you work on the first couple scenes of the first act, and then you get scene by scene memorized. And then build it up that way. Yeah. So, Sari, have you had like a large part in a? This is my first time having any say. part in a play. I was crew for the last one. So, are you are you nervous at having it be your first? Yeah, feature? but it's really fun being with these guys because they're my friends to start with. So I'm really comfortable, so it's a lot easier to have this part. Do you feel that you kind of rely on them a bit? It's like, oh, if I mess up, you got me. I feel like they mess up more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel that way, guys? I don't know. I, I know. I think with a play, there's always going to be times where maybe the words won't come out exactly right, but as long mm -hmm. as you have, you know, 
the gist of what you're saying, I think, you know, you can feed off your your friends and your you scene know partner. your yeah. colleagues to, to keep the scene going and stuff. So So do you feel you guys are prepared for Friday night? Okay. Definitely? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a really good play. Are you so you're excited for it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Do you feel do you ever get nervous about the other people on the play? Like because you know you have to depend on them for the story to move along and everybody has to do their part. Do you ever get anxious about that? Yeah, because you know if you're ready or not, but it's mm -hmm. up to them that they have to be ready. And like you said, you rely on them. It's it's a group thing. Yeah. Especially like when in practice, it, practice if it's people that have trouble like every time, and you want to help them, but you don't know how, and then you're nervous about opening night if they know what they're supposed to know. And then of course you have to worry about your lines too and what you're going to be doing on stage. Mm -hmm. So do you guys personally get nervous? Not until the, the first, you know, the uh, first line of the very first scene. Yeah. I'll be nervous and then, you know, give me a minute and I'll probably be okay. Not until I'm like behind the curtain waiting to go out there. Kind so of hits. I know that you've sang in front of people before, but you've never, so you've never really acted. No. So do you think that it'll be the same thing, kind of, as going up there on stage singing, or...? Um, I feel like singing is worse, because you're staring at the audience, but when you're acting, you're acting with other people and you're not by yourself. So you, it just kind of gives you that bit of comfort knowing you're not the only one. Yeah. Wait till you have a monologue. <laughs> That's why I play an instrument, kind of hide, hide behind Hide it. behind the instrument. Of course, you have characters to hide behind when you're on stage, so it's not that bad. So, guys... Who do you think would be interested in seeing the play? Who who is who wants to see this? Who, if you're pitching this to somebody, I think uh, people of all ages. You know, I think it appeals to to older people who you know have grown up with the story. It's you know it's been around since what the I mean I mean it's been around <laughs> forever. forever. I don't even know how long <laughs> a long time. And you know, but then it's got some really funny scenes and some stuff that if you were paying really close attention to, that maybe the older kids would get a little bit more than the younger kids, but. It's got laughs and fighting and cool fight scenes in it for people that want action. It's a bit of everything for everybody. Yeah. So hopefully the community comes out and sees you guys. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck on Friday night. Thank, Thank you very much, you. guys.